Unfortunately, unfortunately actually, this is a prompt. The city we live in is actually quite the opposite what a hostile architecture can offer. Although, I think that anything that makes city either boring, ugly or less walkable could be considered hostile. So today we're gonna attempt to solve each of these problems in a very illegal and guerrilla way. When we were doing the first video of this series, first we got laughed at. This one, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but that only motivated me. As back then, I promised this lady that we would come back and fix other Soviet period benches in the area. As she complained that there isn't enough places to chill on her way back from the supermarket. Sandbox was full of weeds. Yes, this used to be a sandbox. Lot of garbage and the benches just a little bit too hostile. Educational segment. More benches and other incentives for, for citizens to stop by and chill like a sandbox equals more walkability. If you want to get urbanistically nerdy, there is a link in the description to an article that goes more into depth about this topic. Everything was going smoothly. Nobody called the police or anything until... We wanted to do not one, not two, not three, but three benches. Thus, needing one, two, three, four, five and six. Aha! Surprisingly, three result can't really count. We built these seats together earlier that day and he <laughs> forgot <coughs> to load the last one up on the car. Preview. Something unreal happened on the way back. <laughs> the, these cookies were on sale, so I got them for the lady. That's right. Pretty much the last thing which was missing to finish our project was our girl. So we sent Mohar, our intern, to go and ring at all the possible doors in the neighborhood Old to try to there? find her and invite over later on for a picnic. And while he is on his investigations, let's see the next project. These marks right here are from the adventurous citizens that are trying to slide this piece of architecture, which seems that could be designed for sliding. But it's kind of hard to get either up or down and that makes it, well, kind of boring. Yet it would take so little to make it from boring to fun. My first plan was to make this vehicle of death, then build a ladder and then invite the passerby to try my new attraction. Kas sa julge? Kõigeksid selle, selle, selle ka sõita siis alla. Uh, I just want you to stop and digest how stupid I am that I was thinking that somebody could ride this vehicle on this sort of slope. We solved a different adventure, but I just, you know, I just had to try. Now, before I reveal my grand landing or a tour to a hospital, I just want to shout out to all Patreons. You guys rock and basically make all these videos possible. I mean, I, I didn't, I didn't do it. It would be a certain death. Regardless of that, I, I still oh thought that God. other citizens could give it, give it a go. Yeah. Would, you, would, you, would you like to go down? Have fun? Okay, nothing. This woman, though, was brave. Hey, Ella. <laughs> and everyone who dared had fun. <laughs> After interviewing them, it came out that most would appreciate if the city environment would be more interactive or fun. And their intuition is right. Take this out. It's on a path of many commuters. It's a perfect example of an interactive urban environment, which is designed for kids and adults, a mutual beneficial space. And it's exactly places like this that make cities, well, 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 people friendly and, and fun. These things are <coughs> good things. On his quest on searching for the lady, Mohar was guided by the American spirit that would never let him to give up until he 
A year ago when we did the second episode, I repaired this hole in a sidewall. But when the video hits this point, then 20% of the viewers leave the video. And I mean, I don't judge them, it's ugly. And, and, and this is exactly the opposite of what I intended. I mean, I wanted to make it beautiful. But since then, I, I, I have trained. I have tied this wall, this wall, and imagine <laughs> this wall. So, this is a redemption story. Don't judge me if it's gonna be ugly again. So I'm gonna repair this hole next to our workspace, making mosaic again. But this time, beautifully. Like, like the artist that I stole the idea from. Cities must absolutely not be ugly, again. Beautiful cities are walkable cities, and walkable ones are generally much better for, for you know, the thing we do in cities. L living. To prove that I've succeeded, I'm gonna call an expert on beauty whose expertise has been proved by liking everything I do. My mum. Okay, co jsem, co jsem mi povedlo tady udělat, okay. Je to krásný? Ok, já si myslím, že z toho budeš víc na větvi, ale ok, no. <laughs> tak dík, tak čau. Cože? Já si se mají dobře. Na tam je ve školce. Honestly, I was, I was actually expecting to her be much more blown away, so... Maybe it's not that, that beautiful. She just doesn't love you that much. Yeah, maybe. The nice thing is, it kind of looks like the US, but just without Texas and Florida as God intended. As I was coming back from the shop with cookies, others had great news. Was Mohar successful? N no, no. They found the Soviet bike rack hidden in the bushes. They tamed the flora and painted it red. Nonetheless, there was still hope for Mohar's search. <clears throat> <laughs> Before I'm gonna reveal how we finished up the yard, if you think about it, all of the three projects today were aiming at making city more walkable, actually. And, and, and in my humble car hating opinion, the main thing that makes cities and their architecture hostile is their automobilization. If you are a municipal policymaker, then keep that in mind, and if you are a citizen, well, then, you know, ride a bike. Final touches, and this is how we transform the whole yard. Of course, we had a picnic, sadly without our heroine, but worry not, cause some say Mohar kept searching on his journey through Europe, his spirit just would not, well, would not let him sleep. And as Mohar arrived to this Spanish village, he found not a lady, but a plant for her. And at the same time, young Xinli manufactured this climbing sometimes. And I mean, I mean, look, look at this, look at, look at this shit. Nobody needs that. Nobody, nobody needs that. And it's a perfect product of a throwaway economy. And you know, the aim of this channel, as well as the NGO that runs this public repair space, is to destroy, <coughs> transition from throwaway economy. And if this is a sort of idea you resonate with, well then consider supporting us on Patreon. Money from there goes to run projects like this one and other crazy shit that we have planned. I post there one extra video every month that captures the hottest stuff in this in this business thanks all patrons Th thank you good goodbye